Good morning. I'm John of the Pilgrim United Church of Christ in Sherburne, Massachusetts, and the writer of Spiritually Speaking, a weekly newspaper column for Gannett Media. And I welcome you to another of my twice weekly video essays with thoughts about how all of us can lean into and get through these strange and amazing days. I've got my world globe with me this day because I've been thinking about one truth that for the first time in a very, very long time can be said for almost every single person on this earth, everyone, from Albania to Zimbabwe, from the frozen Antarctic to the deserts of Saudi Arabia. You see, I read this morning that COVID-19 has now been found in 204 nations on earth and that only 18 countries are still virus free. And of those 18, well, many are pretty isolated places like the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean or are places like North Korea where reported numbers probably can't be trusted. So it is probably safe to say on this first Saturday in April that the whole world, the whole world is facing into the exact same problem and challenge. That the whole world, that we are all in the same boat now, if you will, traveling the same storm-tossed sea, sharing across border and language and culture a common foe and threat. Friends, for at least the past 100 years, no other historical event could lay claim to such universality. In a way, COVID-19 is the great equalizer. We are truly all of us in this together. And together, not just internationally, but personally too. Rich and poor, black and white, and yellow and red and brown, and all religions, and gay and straight, and all families too, whatever their shape or configuration. It makes me wonder and imagine if we are all in this together, then the only way we will truly get through to the other side of this, to health, to normalcy, to recovery, will be all together as well. If one nation remains sick, then there will always be the threat of illness for all of us. And yet, if we all work together to all get well together, then all of us, we will, we will prosper and get well. So right now, nations cannot afford to be up or against any other nation, nor in our country can one state be up or against another state, nor in a neighborhood or a town or a city, nor in a home either. We've all got to be with and for one another. This is an amazing moment, one where all around God's creation, we are being called to mutual love and care and mercy and work. And I believe it is this unity, this unity of purpose that will cure what ails us. In the Bible, in Psalm 24, the author writes, the earth is God's and all that is in it, the world and those who live in it too. After all, friends, it's just one big blue marble moving through space and you and I all children of God, we need each other. We need each other like never before. God help us to remember this truth and to love the whole world, the whole world, no one left out, no one left behind. We are all together and we need each other. Thanks for joining me. Our church worships offers worship every Sunday morning on this Facebook page at 9.50 a.m., and we invite you to become a part of that. Take care, and I pray that you and yours and your loved ones, that all of us, that we can keep the faith. Be well, take good care, and God bless all of us, and God bless our world, too.